This is the beautiful River Lee in Cork and below the weir the river is tidal and the salmon come up and they rest in the current before running the weir. And what you're hoping for is a salmon that's resting that's in close enough that you can reach him with a telescopic rod and hopefully jig your shrimp in front of his face and tease the fish into taking. I came out to have a quick look at the river to see is there fish there. I have six shrimps and I have planned to come out early in the morning. <laughs> There's a happy angler. All he's missing is a can of beer in his hand for a perfect pitcher. I've only six shrimps, so I must use them very carefully. I'll take my time putting them on. I for credit I made a right dog's dinner of that. Now I'm on to my second shrimp. I'll take my time putting them on. That doesn't look too bad. And we'll really tie them on well. We'll get a bit of elasticated thread. I don't normally use this when I have loads of shrimps, but we'll get a bit of elasticated thread and we'll tie them on. And hopefully now we'll go over and we'll catch a beautiful salmon. Oh, for God's sake, I'm making another dog's dinner. <laughs> another dog's dinner. I'm out of practice. <laughs> now I'm on to my third shrimp. Hopefully this fella will go on. Looking good. I'll just set him down there nice and carefully now and we get a bit of elasticated thread for him. Another waste of a shrimp. I'm on to my fourth shrimp already. I'll have to be very careful putting this fella on. I'll put him on at the water's edge and hopefully we'll get him into the river without any further accidents. Our dog's dinner is being made. Looking good. Nice and firm on the hook beautifully. Yep, I'm in business. I'm a happy man. Ready to drop in front of of a salmon. Any luck this morning? Not this morning, no. Did you catch anything lately? I caught one last Wednesday. I heard it was very good a couple of weeks ago. That's why I started fishing here. Yeah, I heard, <laughs> I heard, I heard everybody was catching, children were catching them with their bare hands. Yeah. There was so many fish. I heard that they went up the weir in, in great numbers. Great numbers. A waste of a shrimp. I was just told by an angler there that you're not allowed to have a barb on your hook. It's crazy. I thought he was joking, but there it is. It's up on the tree and you wouldn't even see it up there. Apparently for having this little barb, I can get fined 150 euros. So we'll take that off. That looks good to me. Hopefully that'll do. I don't be getting fined 150 euros because I have a barb on my hook. All the rules and regulations, they're, they're gone overboard. It's gone crazy. I, always, I, I put nearly all my fish back anyway and I can get fined 150 euros for having a barb on my hook. Now there's two barbs here. Can I get fined 150 euros for that? 150, 150, 150. That's 450 euros for using this mackerel hook. It's, it's gone crazy, crazy. It would just put you off fishing. I got my fifth shrimp on and it's in the river and I'm looking for fish and I have one spare shrimp left. There's one or two salmon swimming around but they're not interested, they're just swimming around in circles. What you're looking for is a fish that's resting. A nice fish, hang on a second, I see a fish there. Oh, there's a fine fish there. There's a fine fish there, he must be about 14 pounds, he's swimming around. He's after stopping next to my shrimp and he's having a look. He's having a look, he's coming towards it. I think he might take, his mouth is opening. Yes! Ah. Oh. 
my last shrimp. Come on, baby. <laughs> The big one's still there. He's looking at it, he's looking at it. Come on, baby, come on. There's a smaller fish coming over. Oh no, there's a smaller fish coming over. He's coming over to the shrimp. He's looking at it, he's starting to snap it. He has in his mouth. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on. Yes, I'm on. Oh, that was great for the thing. He's mm. going. 25 pounds. Who has a net? <laughs> Mick is going to jump Come in. On. Mike is going kindly going to volunteer to jump in. To kind of give him the hug of death. They're fighting well this year. Hello, yeah. well Vincent. Mike, are you going to jump in to give him the the hug of death? Even needs a fin there. You get off, yeah. You can't get off, yeah. You can't get off, yeah. Stop. Yep. Yep. Go and walk out there from there. 